Hello, welcome back to the video. Now, quite a few people have told me about the old school tea room. And what's quite interesting is, I used to go to school, not here, but up there. There was a pentagrammar, I think it was called. It was part of Trochi Comprehensive School. And we were the last year to go there. And I've been up there, but there's nothing there to film. The entire school is flattened. So I thought I'd come down and have a cup of tea and have a look at what the tea room and shop is all about. Oh, I like the bell. Look at that. It's one of those little bells. Look at that. I'm free. Oh, it has a, has a lot of stuff in here. Look, there's cups. Maybe I can get a cup for my... Uh, for my shed when I start doing the plot. Oh, I was talking about getting a lamp, wasn't I? Look at this here. Remote, look, I could have that in the shed, maybe. There's loads of stuff here. And look, there's more on this side as well. Well, you could spend all day here. There's loads of stuff here. And uh, this is Jeff. He's he's in charge. So how would you describe this place? Um, very different, I think. It's um, more retro. I think we uh, we try our best to um, to try and recycle stuff without throwing any, anything away at all. We have a zero waste policy. So uh, yeah, that's that, that's what we actually do. I'm not really a boss. I'm just a volunteer. But um, but this I, this used to be a school. Yeah, it was a school um, until I think about 2015 um, when the council decided to close it. Uh, a gentleman bought it and didn't really want to have it knocked down or anything like that. So um, he rented it out to us and, and we use it for our uh, community hub. And um, there's even more down through this door, I think, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there is, yes. Yeah. This is our uh, little retro area. You could spend all day here. And everything is available to buy. So come down. In fact, you could spend the day here because you could have because you could have your dinner. Yeah, you have. We have a little cafeteria. You could have as your well. dinner here. Oh, look, that'd be quite good in the shed, wouldn't it? I could, I could have that in the shed to put my cups of tea on. Yes, uh, it is different. Now that is uh, that is different. <laughs> yeah. That is very different. Yes, that is our um, a bear that everybody seems to want to buy, but it is part of the. Uh, it is part of us, the bear. Yeah. It's one of the first things we ever had in here. So, uh, yeah. Put that in. Put that in the front room and the room and, <laughs> and the front room be full. Yeah. We had a couple of people want to buy it for their um, children's bedroom, but <laughs> they did say then, unfortunately, it would probably be a bit, be a bit big. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And look, you've got washing machines and everything. Yeah, yeah. We have everything um, donated. We, yeah, we try and repair stuff, like I say, zero waste policy. Um, we try and repair stuff and then put it back out into the community. Great. What sort of, what's the opening times? Opening times are Wednesdays 10 till 4, up till Saturday 10 till 4. Right, and then through here is where you can come for, Yeah, yeah. what sort of food do you do? Um, we do all sorts of food. We do lasagna, we do um, um, corned beef pie, homemade corned beef pie. Um, we do all sorts of stuff, loaded fries. I had one of these. Yeah, an old candlestick one. Back yeah. in the day, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm trying to find a clock, so maybe I'll be able to find it here. So after a cup of tea, I'll have a little nose around. Yeah, we do um, dementia classes on a Tuesday um, for people local community. Um, I like this little setup here where people can. Yeah, yeah. That's our little lounge area. We call that. Yeah. Uh, we try to. Um, Try and make it look as, as retro as possible, really, a bit vintage. What I love is you come in here and the memories start to come back. Yeah, like, we, had, we had a guy with... Uh, like these. Come up. Um, I remember these. In fact, these are very difficult to get, yeah. very difficult to find. We had um, we have a guy come up um, for our dementia sort of uh, day on a Tuesday. Hasn't spoken a lot for a while until he's seen the old radio over there and suddenly started talking about his mum's radio that, right. he, that she had in the parlour and uh, yeah yeah he was really and then obviously other things was catching his eye 
um, to sort of um, bring back his old memories, like you know. And I couldn't come here because I was ill. But apparently, you did an event on Saint Dave, on Saint Yeah, David's we did. Day. We done a nice. Yeah, we done a nice event. We had a lady come and play uh, the piano for us. Um, she played all the Welsh songs and things like that, which was really nice. Um, we had Sean, a guy, come in, uh, read a bit of poetry and stuff like that. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really good. A it is success. It's a community hub, and that's what the community needs because there's an, as things have changed. There's not a lot of like the high street cafes now are starting. No, to no, grow, no, you know? no. I was um, working in a care home when COVID hit, and um, uh, quite a lot, quite a few places closed after that. Day centres yeah. and clubs, um, and the two gentlemen obviously decided to open this up as a bit of a cafe and a hub, and it's, it's been a good success. Where yeah. do you come from then? Because your voice is Bristol originally. Right. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, Unfortunately, my knees have gone now, so I've had to give up work. But I just come up here really for my mental health and also because it's a community hub, yeah. you know? So, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to go and have a look at what... Well, I shouldn't have cake, but maybe, <laughs> but maybe a small slice. The cake is uh, one of our specialities up here. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we have, we have people ringing up sometimes to ask us to save a piece. <laughs> look at these cakes, sir. Are they... Are they handmade this morning? Yeah, this morning they make it. Uh, they make like a, they make brownies as well this morning. All oh, right. So introduce yourself and what's your connection? My, my connection? To the place. The place is, is my partner. Is he make this place. Right. Um, yeah, that's it for the native. Everything here is the native. Yeah, it's nice. Especially good for the community to come somewhere for, you yes. know, it's a bit di like it's a bit different from a cafe because of the because of the because of the soft chairs. It's as simple as you know. It's like a few people. They say they come in here in the rush. They yeah. People just just come in here and enjoy the music. You spend all day here. Actually, yeah, they spend all day here. <laughs> you should charge them for the rent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I'll have a cup of tea, and. Even though, okay? I sh okay? even though I even even though I shouldn't, I'll have a little slice of that. Okay, no problem. Yes, my friend, how can I help you? I like that picture. What's actually, this? Actually, this is I'm Colombian. Right. Um, basically, this is the my memories when I was a child. My father, he working, he has the farm. Yeah. And always in in my in my mind it's when I. Yeah. Saw him with yeah, a hat. Um, this is like a try to remember him all the time. Yeah. So he got the hat, and because it was it was very hot, he always kept his his face. Yeah. And it was a mystic for me. That's that's the reason I painted this. So how did you end up in Pentra? How? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a lot of history, basically. And my partner. We, he bought a house here right. uh, six years ago. Um, that's it. So that's I moved to here. And what do you think of the, of uh, the valleys? Lovely. The no, weather's. I, lo I love it. At the minute, how many Colombian people live here? The weather's a bit different. Uh, the weather, yeah, definitely. Actually, my weather in Colombia is uh, 26. Right. Here's minus 26. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, by, in my place in Colombia, it's like a Cherokee. Right. Because the name of my city is Turua with a T. Yeah. And uh, actually, yes, we got so many mountains as well. Of course, the and you have the tropical. mountains there as well. Yeah, actually, a lot. But the mean is because it's in the South America side, so it's just tropical. That's packets, it's the Colombian pack as well, and the mean Colombian coffee. Look at this.
What a fascinating place with home cooking. I will certainly be back. But now I'm going to head home because I'm going to make Welsh cakes. I'll put all the details for this place in the video description below. So I'll catch up with you next time. So for me until then, bye for now.